What is up guys, my name is Barry Michael Doyle and in this video I'm going to be talking about Code Fights. Now Code Fights is a really cool website. It provides you with various algorithm challenges in various forms which really help you develop your programming skills. Now, this can be really helpful in just making you a better programmer also extremely useful for preparing you for job interviews where you have to do whiteboard tests and stuff like that. Trust me, Codefights is going to make you a much better programmer, no matter how you use it. Now, the awesome thing about Codefights is it supports 32 coding languages. And later on, if you're watching this video in the future, it's probably going to support even more. But I'm going to be focusing on JavaScript and specifically the ECMAScript 6 version of JavaScript. Because, well, you know me, I'm a React developer. I do lots of React and React Native development, and that uses JavaScript ES6 practices. Now, don't worry, I'm still going to be making Java, the, well, not just JavaScript tutorials, but I'll be making React tutorials, React Native tutorials. Uh, it's just nice to have a bit of a break and try some other things out with code fights. So let's delve into it and show you what this platform is and how epic it is to improve your programming skills. Right, so here we are at the Code Fights website, and uh, I will definitely put a link in the description below. It will... Basically, it's an invite link, so I think you get some free little code fight coins here, which code fights likes to use their little coins for things. You can actually go to the store and buy a, a code fights t-shirt if you get enough coins, but you need quite a load to get that. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll leave a link for that in the description below. You should just check that out and go click it there. And uh, yeah, you can do tons of things in this this platform. So you can practice for interviews, you get these little challenges, which there's new challenges every day and weekly as well. Uh, you can go head to head against other people, so you kind of like do a little race. I mean, I lost because I kind of lost interest in a while, but really cool stuff. You get company bots, so loads of top tech companies have actually made bots that you can try beat, and they're really tough, so I haven't actually beaten any of them yet, but we'll get there guys, we'll get there. And then there's also tournaments. These last well, these go on quite often, uh, so you can join those, and they're really tough to win because you get some crazy Asians in you. They're insane. But I'm going to go through the arcade in this tutorial. So, well, this isn't really a tutorial, but just a demonstration. And you get a whole bunch of stuff here as well. Like It's a whole process, but I'm going to just start with the intro. And I've done a few stuff already, but I want to start from the beginning just so you guys can get a feel of what to expect in this Code Fights platform. So I'm going to go to the first challenge. Now, let me warn you, this challenge is really, really easy. They just ask you to make an add function. And they already give you this little chunk of code here. Now, let me just mention that you can do this in whatever language you'd like. Here is a list of all the languages. I'm going to stick with JavaScript ES6. And yeah, you can see the description of the problem here. The, this problem is called add. They want you to write a function that returns the sum of two numbers. Pretty straightforward, just your first, I mean, this is your typical learn how to make an add function. And they give you an example here. They say, let's say you get parameter one, or param one equals one, and param two equals two. The output should be add param one and two, you put those parameters there and return the result, which obviously one plus two is three. Now they give you some constraints here and uh, examples of what the input and output data type should be. First of all, they want this function to run in less than 4,000 milliseconds, which is four seconds. And to run an add function shouldn't take you four seconds, so that shouldn't be a problem. Then they mention that the first parameter, param1, is an integer, and you've got guaranteed constraints there. Then you've got the second integer parameter here, uh, it's parameter2, also guaranteed constraints. So they say it won't be less than negative 100, and it won't be more than 1,000. And then they want an output integer, which is supposed to be the sum of the two inputs. Now, obviously this is really easy. We head to our code here and you can write return param1 plus param2. And before you submit, you can run tests to see if it works. And then, bam, there we go, test one. The input is one and two and they expect three and you got three in your output there. That's the expected output. And then, Here's some other stuff. And you can do a bunch of stuff. Like you can console log, let's say just param1 over here. And we can run a test again. 
So you can check in these tests that we've written. Let me raise this a bit. That there's the console output of one. So you can actually use the console to work in your tests to try to figure out problems. This is obviously quite handy later on when we try to solve much more complex problems, but I'm just showing you the platform for now. We'll do some other videos to try and see how we can do in solving more complicated problems. But yeah, check this out. So another thing I want to mention is they don't show you all the tests because they know you could probably cheat your system and return anything based on certain inputs. So they don't show you those. You can unlock them using your code fight points or coins. But yeah, you could also set up some custom tests just to say, hey, I want to put in my first two inputs and say the expected output case. That's just your own custom test that you can put in place. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff here, the solutions, you can see tons of other people have done stuff here. Right, so I'm back. I got a bit carried away there, my bad. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is people often like to do like code golf. So they'll say like, hey, let's do X and Y and then say parameters X plus Y. And you often see in the challenges people have their solutions and this will still work if you run the tests and you submit it you can submit by the way when it's done it will say you're correct and you passed and you get your free code points and then you can unlock the hidden tests for some of your little code code fights cache thing and there for some reason i'm above this guy and what i've done maybe because i think i used less things but the thing is i don't actually like doing that because it goes against the normal ways of well, in this case, X and Y is fine because it's a simple add function. So you can understand what's going on pretty easily. But I don't like the way that they have set up their... They've pretty much set up the fact that, you know, it's nice to have your code say what it is. So you know this is parameter 1 and parameter 2. It's nice that your code can be explaining itself without having to put in comments. Now, another thing I want to mention is because we do React and React Native quite often, it's nice to actually follow the ES6 standards. So let's make this const add, and then we make it equal, and then let's do that arrow sign. And remember, you get that other body arrow function. So we can remove return and just straight up put this up here. And there we go. I don't even need those brackets there. This should work as well if we run our tests. Bam, it works. I can submit. And this works perfectly. So this is ES6 for you. And I think I'm going to try, to the best of my ability, try and return ES6 code for us. We can use semicolons. We don't even need semicolons. I use them because they're part of the ES lint in our React tutorials. But literally, I'm going to start coding like this so we can get familiar with ES6. And basically, you can improve your coding as a React developer this way. Anyway, guys. That's going to cut it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys a bit about what uh, Code Fights is all about and how we can use it. Now, these are going to be some filler videos before we start our next tutorial, just because it takes me some time to set up our projects. So expect a few videos on the following things. So once we've done this little submission here and it's all working, we can go to the next problem. And the next problem, well, it takes me out here. It says I've already done one and two and three. So in the next video, we will go check out the second problem and potentially the third problem if it goes really quickly. Uh, I just want to explain these in detail so that you, as a developer, wherever you are in your stages, you can learn and understand what's going on. It's very important that you understand what is happening when we do these algorithm changes and because this will help you a lot. And don't use this tutorial, this video, to just skip through and finish all your arcade things and get the free coins. The important part is that you actually understand what you're doing, because if you don't understand what you're doing, the only person you're fooling here is yourself. So it's very important that you figure out, hey, how does this add function that I just made work? By the way, you can go back to it and you still see your codes there. So you need to understand how this works. We set this function called add. It's a constant because you don't change functions programmatically. And this function, it takes two parameters. The first one, and the second parameter. They're both labeled param1, param2, and then it will return this. So it can either return like a command and stuff, but in this case, we're just returning something on its own. So this returns parameter1 plus parameter2. That's just a simple addition arithmetic method, which you know 1 plus 1 is 2. So in this case, 1 plus 2 is 3, 
or one whatever number plus whatever number is the answer pretty straightforward i know but trust me this gets a lot harder very quickly so i'm going to make sure that i explain this to the best of my ability for you to understand it no matter what level your programming skill is you could be starting off programming and this could be very helpful for you to just get hitting the ground running anyway guys if you like the video please subscribe and leave a like and another thing is just if you like the idea of me going through this code fights uh arcade journey uh leave comments below tell me they're cool if you don't like it leave comments below and tell me you're not into this and um you wish i never did this and i should stop and well if, if i get enough feedback saying i should stop then i'll stop and just focus on the react native tutorials but don't worry we will get back to those anyway guys i'm gonna catch you later ciao